can talk all you want, but my skin is really thick. I'm the leader of the crowd, and my game is really slick. I'm unstoppable. Hmm. Holy moly. Notice that if we straight add or straight subtract, nothing's going to drop out. And doggone it, it doesn't look like I can multiply either the top or just the bottom by a single number and then add. But, but we could still do this. All we have to do is find a, a common uh, multiple. And then we can multiply both the top equation and the bottom equation by some number to go ahead and solve it. All right, so I need to find a common multiple of either 10 and 4 or 13 and 2. All right, uh, 26 would work. And over here, 20 would work. Okay. Um, all right, let's see. I think I'm going to use 20. I'm going to multiply the top equation through by 2. Let's see, if I multiply the top equation by 2, I'd get 20y. I'll end up with 20y right here. Excuse me, by 2. And if I want to get a negative 20y down here, I'd have to multiply through by 5. So I think that's what I'll do. Multiply the top by 2 and the bottom by 5. Then I'll get two new equations and then I'll be able to add those and the y's will drop out. Then I'll have just x's. I can solve for x. Then I can resubstitute in, get, I can get my y. And once I know my x and my y, I can go back to the original set of equations and I can solve for z. Oh, so this is working. This is working. All right, the key was just to get two equations and two variables. Okay, there's the new system. And let's go ahead and add. So we'll put our line across, and we'll put a great big plus sign here. 26x plus a negative 10x is 16x. These guys will add to 0. And over here, we're going to get 48. All right, we'll divide through by 16, and we'll get x equals 3. All right, so now I'm going to take this value of x and plug it into either one of the original two equations. I'm thinking I like this one better. So I'm going to plug it up into there. So I'll get negative 2 times positive 3 plus negative 4 times y is equal to negative 14. So that's a negative 6 plus negative 4y is equal to negative 14. We'll add 6 to both sides. We'll get negative 4y is equal to, add a positive 6, that's going to be a negative 8. Divide through by a negative 4 and you're going to get y equals 2. Yes! Now we have the x and the y. Alright, so we have to go back to the original system of 3 and pick out which equation we think is the easiest to work with. I still like this, this top one, a. We're going to plug in x equals 3 and y equals 2 into this, and then we'll solve for z. All right, so there we have it. Okay, let's see what we're going to get here. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 3 times 2 is 6, plus z has got to be equal 13, so this is 12, plus some mystery number is 13, so that means z is equal to 1. So we have an ordered triple here. The ordered triple is 3, comma 2, comma 1. And that's your answer. You can talk all you want, but my skin is really thick. I'm the leader of the crowd, and my game is really slick. I'm unstoppable, unstoppable, unstoppable.